saw a pituitary tumor adventure um, Friday, July 30th, 2021, 10.17 a.m. So this video will be a little bit special. I won't translate it, but I will also put it in the my life as a carnivore folder because it's all about carnivore and it's very important to me. So on June 11th, I had surgery. Um, they took out a macroadenoma, a tumor from my pituitary gland. They took it out through my nose. It was a benign tumor, but it was very aggressive. I had a lot of issues, crazy issues, and it, need, it needed to come out. If, if they wouldn't have taken it out, I would have gotten blind and at some point I would have died. But anyways, um, so welcome to my life as a carnivore, right? I'm a carnivore since I started um, November 20th, 2019. And I went through an elimination diet that I put up my um, put up myself with um, the help from uh, Kevin Stock. His uh, what 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 is the name? Thirty day guide, thirty days guide to carnivore or something. It's actually ninety days, but anyways. So I modified that. I will come to that later. Um, and made my own elimination diet. And then I reintroduced foods back in. But so anyways, I kind of ended up before my surgery with uh, beef, lamb, bison, chicken, eggs, and my supplement. Supplements and water, salt and water. Um, the meat, I have to say, clean, just so, nothing processed. I mean, I didn't eat pork anyways, but like no ham or bacon or um, salami or something like that. No, no sausage. So really just clean meats. Um, and yeah, my supplements, I think maybe something has a little bit of a plant in it. I don't know, but I do take mushrooms turkey tail, chaga, and uh, lion's mane. But so anyways, pretty strict carnivore. No spices, no herbs, no coffee, no tea, um, no butter, no dairy, um, no seafood, no fish yet, because I didn't get to the time to reintroduce that. Um, as I said, no pork. Well, anyways. So the surgery it was well i wasn't awake during the surgery but after the surgery and recovery phase recovery time i'm still in recovery time but it was the most brutal thing brutal brutal i don't know brutal thing i ever had to go through in my life it was yeah it was really really bad for me um with I think from the antibiotics, my gut got so destroyed. I already have got problems anyways. Um, carnivore helped a lot, but still, I still had got problems. Like I didn't tolerate or still not tolerate a lot of fat, no rendered fat for sure, and no slow cooked meat. And always once in a while, I don't know. So anyways, I'm still working on that, but, um, and also the anesthesia gave me PTSD, gave me trauma and the anesthesia gave me that nasty, nasty taste in my mouth. First I had it like constantly and then on just sometimes and mostly after waking up so bad. And it's not just a uh, bad taste and it's annoying. No, it's like it made me sick and nauseous and gave me like that anesthesia, PTSD, like so bad. So anyways, my problem was 
I um, needed something to mask that taste, to cover that taste, and nothing helped. Not, not um, salt, not lemon, not mint, not gum, what is really bad, not meat, not eggs, nothing except for sugar or sweet, yes. So that was a problem. And also, if I'm honest, yes, I also started to crave sugar, to crave sweet. I'm not, so now I'm not sure if that was just because I needed something to cover that nasty taste or if, my, if I really got in my head sugar addicted again. Sugar addiction is real. Everyone is sugar addicted, some more, some less, but um, most people don't take it seriously. Most people don't even know, but sugar addiction is very real. This is basically also what this video is about. So I was fighting. I was fighting that urge for days. And I'm very sad and ashamed to say that at some point I broke. I don't remember what day. I know, so ele June 11th, I got surgery. June 15th, we got home, like 10 p.m. And then it took some days, maybe even a week, maybe, I really don't remember. Because also when you're so sick, e time and days, you don't realize what day and what time it is anymore. And for, for days, I wasn't sleeping at all. I couldn't sleep. I, I was sleeping like 10 minutes. Well, I don't think you get any deep sleep. So, um, yeah. Anyways, um, so yeah. And twice, it happened here that I not binge eating anymore, but I used to have binge eating disorder, really, really bad binge eating. But I used to just shove in whatever I could find, but not so well. Yes, it is kind of binge eating, but for me, my earlier binge eating disorder was I was eat I couldn't stop. I was eating until I got so sick that I was in so much pain. And then 10 minutes later, when the pain kind of was better, I was eating again. So not like this. So I didn't overeat. I didn't eat, that, but I ate all the wrong stuff. And I was just so craving chocolate or like sweet. And I ate corn chips. I ate popcorn. I, uh, and so two days that happened and I paid the price both times, believe me, so much pain. Um, I couldn't even, I was just like curled up in a ball. I screamed, I uh, couldn't, yeah. Anyways, I'm actually glad I got so much pain from it because that showed me, oh yeah, all this shit you ate you still still don't tolerate it and it's shit for your body anyways it's not food so yeah you can't do that to yourself but so the problem is well as i mentioned sugar addiction what is an addiction it's a fucking addiction you can't just stop it that easily i did stop the um, those two bad days, I didn't do that anymore. I kind of figured out, okay, I can, just for the time being, I can overcome my urge with like unclean meats and seafood. So like, yeah, so I started eating ham and salami or like smoked turkey legs, you know, they already prepared um locks and i got some drinks 
that they were like electrolyte or like um how, how do you say uh like like uh with vitamins and minerals in it but also with some sugar not much but yeah there was sugar in it and you know i was zero zero sugar but it helped and i needed that and those drinks especially really helped to mask that taste but um now the taste is still here but not that bad anymore and um now the I, um, and then I got, yeah, sorry, I, I got much cleaner again, not totally clean, but much cleaner, but now just on Wednesday and especially today, badly again, I really fell back and like that way back, I was eating M&Ms and peanut butter and um, reduced fat milk. I drank that, orange juice. Um, yeah, and a lot of other stuff. And we don't have all that stuff here. It was somewhere else. But, uh, I realized I, 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 no, I can't do that anymore. And oh, also something very important. So that has to do with binge eating. It's very, very common. I read that from others. I heard that from others that have binge eating disorder. It's you also eat in secret. Yes, it's kind of a thing um, that when or like let's say yeah you're you're somewhere somewhere else at someone else's house everyone is asleep you get up at night and you eat or and and uh, just so much so they they don't realize it or like no one sees it. it's like yeah it's it's really stupid so i've done that i don't know probably since i'm 15 16 years old I don't know when that stuff start, uh, kind of starts, but um, so everywhere I was, I basically, or also even if I didn't eat, I, I had to open the fridge. I had to know what's in there or in the larder. I was also, I also had really bad food OCD, as I call it, or always, or always thinking about food. Even on vacation, I couldn't even enjoy it. I was always thinking, um, when do we eat? Where do we eat? When is it time to eat again? And uh, always looking up where could we eat or what do you want? It's like always food, food, food. Um, I was such in a food prison. Really, it was... Yeah, I couldn't even enjoy doing stuff anymore. It's really, really sad. So here I have to mention something. When we, so my, my aunt, she lives in Palo Alto. That's about a half an hour. No, it's about an hour from San Francisco. And I got um, surgery in San Francisco, UCSF. Uh, I didn't bring any water. <sighs> Dry throat. Anyways, um, and of course, Every time I got to my aunt's, also the same. In see, you know, it's not even, she, she's like, I could eat whatever I want, but when everyone is 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 um, a, a, a asleep, to the larder, to the fridge. But so, when before I had my surgery, like a day before, I had to do MRI and uh, the C test and other stuff. So I had to be there a bit earlier. I think we, I spent two nights at my aunt's before I went in for surgery. And that was the first time I was there at my aunt's and 
I didn't even look what you, I mean, of course, I brought my own food. I put it in the fridge, in the freezer, yes. But I didn't even look what else she had. I didn't look in the larder or, or like I didn't eat because I, that was a, because I'm carnivore, because no. That was the first time. And that felt so liberating. I was free. That was so beautiful. And I, I think I didn't even realize it that much. I realized it later or now I really realize it. Fuck, then that is amazing. I didn't even care. Wow. So, but then when we got back for my checkup, that was, uh, I think, June 22nd, oh my gosh, really? It's been that long. It's been over a month that I'm not clean anymore. I'm really ashamed now because so it, ha it happened before my checkup that I gave in. And then of course we were, yeah, we went to my aunt's again for my checkup, for my checkup MRI. And again, I, at night, I, I ate, she, she has those protein bars from Costco that I fucking used to love. And uh, she had ice cream, she had so much, yeah. And yeah, I, I was good enough to not make me that sick, but I, yeah, I was sick. And just still, that's no life. That sucks. You're so obsessed with food. It's a food controls you you're not free and so i have another checkup in uh august uh august 17th so we're gonna be at my aunt's again and on september i'm gonna take care of norman the dog so i'm gonna spend and from september 8th to september 25th so almost three weeks i'm gonna stay at lisa's house and she has everything in her house that I can't or shouldn't eat, like really bad stuff for me. Well, actually for everyone, but let's say just a normal household. And if I don't get myself under control until at least uh, September when I take care of Norman, I'm going to be screwed because I know many times when I used to take care of Norman and used to live at Lisa's house and I wasn't carnivore then yet I um every time I got so in a massive depression and I was binge eating and I got so so sick that's actually when I started carnivore right after when I took care of Norman for a week or so I don't know how long or four days and I had such bad binge eating disorder again that I just knew I had to change something completely so I'm gonna be there almost three weeks I I I can't no no I can't do that to my, no 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 I remember those times I remember and no I I I destroy my body, my brain. And again, it's it's sugar addiction. And then you have to go sh through sugar withdrawal. Yes, you have to go through that. And it's not fun. For me, it was like, really, I was laying in my bed, staring at the ceiling, like kind of shaking and just thinking about food and this and that and this, but it's so hard. But I did it. You can do it too but you have to go through a withdrawal and it's fucking hard. And no, no, I, so I'm so ashamed in a way that I, I relapsed. I, I started eating sugar again. It's, I'm so sad, but I know I can fix it. And I know how I can fix it. Everyone is different. I'm, I'm an abstainer. You have like moderators and abstainers. 
moderators like there are a lot of carnivores they uh, still allow themselves sometimes a little bit of something non-carnivore or even like um, sometimes even a, a piece of cake or like very rarely or um, an apple or something like that that's full of sugar it's a sugar bomb but they do better in their mind when they know okay I can still have once in a while an apple or a, or a slice of apple or something like that then oh I can never ever have it again but then you have abstainers like me they can't just have a little bit otherwise they eat the whole thing they go crazy they are back into sugar addiction and also for me it's certain things I also can't just have a little bit of something because I get really sick from it. I get actually pains. Yeah, people ask me, oh, how did you do that? Um, I had to, I didn't have a choice. If you would have been that sick like me, you, you would have, you could do it too because otherwise you just get so sick, yeah. But now the pro, this is like, gluten of course or grains or um certain things i know they make me so so sick as well, like i really get such bad pains but unfortunately <coughs> and unfortunately now i got kind of used to sugar again because sugar used to also make me very chittery and anxiety and panic attacks luckily since the tumor is out I don't get crazy, crazy panic attacks anymore. I still get anxiety, but very, well, not as often as before, really not. But not those crazy panic attacks. But um, now when I drink a glass of orange juice, I don't get chittery anymore, unfortunately, because uh, yeah, I wanna get, I, I kinda, got a bit used to it again because I used to just a little bit of sugar I got like almost heart flutter so then it's of course even harder to get off of it again if your body adjusted to it again and it's kind of okay with it but my brain is not and no no and I just don't want to so anyways, long story short, I always talk a lot, but this is something very important and there's a lot to say about that. So I, I need to stop that now. And today, as I mentioned, it's um, July, July 30th. So we have one more day tomorrow, July 31st, and then we have August. So. Perfect, it's, it's stupid, oh, I start on Monday, oh, I start in August, oh, I start next year. No, start right away. Also, do you recall the date when I started carnivore? Um, that was November 20th, November 20th. It wasn't even a Monday, I don't think so. It was just November, it, on November 19th, that was so fucking sick, so on November 20th. That's, um I, uh, 19th i got the idea so on the 20th i started that's the right thing to do but um i'm not coming from zero this time and i haven't gone that overboard and it's not years of years also something very important to know when you fall off the wagon you don't start from zero again you don't so this time it's going to be different it will still be hard but not as hard as before and i don't need to do an elimination diet again so yeah i wanted to tell you what i did last time so i did always 30 days and that's how i started so my first 30 i i started on november 23rd with the because um i had like some like almond milk i had to finish uh and something else i think 
before I was like 100% carnivore. So I did for 30 days any meat, fish, and seafood. So it can be processed meat, it can be ham, salami, corned beef, but not too much of the process. Dairy, cheese, butter, heavy whipping cream, but not too much. I, I that not too much I added afterwards because I remember I ate so much cheese. Cheese also makes you addictive. Uh, the case of morphins. I'm not going to go into that right now, but anyways. Eggs, then the flavored uh, sparkling water, the zero calorie, you know, the um, La Croix, bubbly and all that, salt and water. So, and yeah, my problem is also when I, when I do such things, sorry, so when I do such things like, so I was cutting out stuff. So I knew then in level two, the next month, I wasn't allowed to eat cheese anymore. So level one, I eat as much cheese as possible. Stupid, don't do that. So level two, that started December 23rd, um, I ate, so there was meat, fish and seafood, but no processed anymore. Eggs, the flavored sparkling water, salt and water. Um, and I did that for 30 days. So, and then level three, starting January 22nd, 2020, beef, the flavored sparkling water, salt water. So it's basically beef, salt water. It's a lion diet. And that's actually really cool. Oh yeah, and also, but I had supplements. Oh yeah, um, I actually, when I started the carnivore diet, I was like the carnivore lifestyle. I was like, um, all those carnivores, you don't need any supplements anymore. You don't need any stuff. So I also tried to um, get off all my supplements but there were certain supplements I couldn't get off. And then uh, very soon after I figured out, no, I, I do need supplements. Every person is different. Um, and there are supplements I want to take, like um, Nats, m and uh, uh, like C60 and stuff like that. That's more for longevity. That's not just minerals and uh, vitamins but anyways i'm not going to go into supplements here so yeah that was level three and kevin stock has those uh, three levels but i kind of uh, modified them for me but i had so much fun i uh, i actually did like eight levels but um i'm only gonna go to level four here because then afterwards was re reintroducing so level four, ribeye, salt and water. So they, yeah, I didn't even drink those zero, um, those zero calorie sparkling waters anymore. So really ribeye, salt and water for 30 days. And it was great. I thought it would be boring. I thought, that I, oh, I'm going to lose a lot of fat or weight because I'm not going to eat that much. It's Oh, hell no. You can make so, um, I came up with so many different ways how to make ribeye and hey, it's ribeye. So anyways, but, uh, that's how I started with the carnivore lifestyle. And that was fun because I put those levels together and I was like excited and I'm good with plans. I'm good with challenges. Like then I do it. And that's why then I did level five, level six, seven, eight. Don't ask me. I don't remember um, uh, what, what the, exactly they were, but uh, they're on my YouTube channel, all the levels except for level eight. I never put that up um, because then, yeah, I got sick again and I had to eliminate stuff again and kind of got Conf yeah, it wasn't uh, easy anymore to do levels. But so, anyways, um, I don't, as I mentioned, for me now, it's different. I don't need to do that anymore. Like, um, I don't want to cut out eggs. I don't want to start with, uh, I don't want to, start with cheese because I, I didn't eat cheese um, 
actually I think I had a little bit of ricotta but uh yeah so I don't want to start with processed meats and cheese and dairy and all that no I'm just gonna go to um back to what I've been doing beef bison lamb chicken eggs salt water my supplements and yeah those those uh, zero calorie sparkling water things and um i'm gonna leave in the shrimps probably because i i was eating i started eating shrimps and i do well with it there's no reason why to take them out and i also decided um because when I didn't uh, give in yet, when I didn't break yet with eating stuff I shouldn't and with a sugar addiction, I started, um, well, eating, <laughs> drinking, using, using lemon juice. And I decided I'm going to leave that in because I still do, especially when I wake up, have that stupid taste and the lemon juice i feel like i can put it in water or i can even just do this and maybe it could help me and i don't see <coughs> a reason why i should take out lemon juice for right now and i'm also gonna leave in mint mint leaves I got the idea when I started trying to use uh, gum to mask the taste. It was like, oh, spearmint gum. Why don't they just chew mint? Unfortunately, it didn't really help. Oh, and I didn't bring it over here, but I have also mint tea. But well, it's just mint. There's nothing else in it. So I'm gonna leave that in too. I probably, after I'm done with this, I'm probably not gonna buy another one, but like the mint tea, I like it cold, I like it hot. And the lemons, I leave that in. But other than that, and I'm making it public now, well, this video is gonna be aired probably way, way later because I'm really behind with the videos and well, I just have them queued up because I'm just gonna upload one video a day and I made so many videos because I was so alone. I needed someone to talk and it really helped me cope with everything. It was like therapy for me. So there are so many videos in the queue but I'm gonna make that also public to Instagram later today or maybe tomorrow. So that's my challenge, that's what I'm gonna do. And, um, but, so I'm gonna really, really start August 1st. So tomorrow I still have a day to like finish Lux. Yeah, sodium nitrate. You see, this is something I feel once in a while I can eat it. I tried it. I didn't have any issues. But for right now, no, nothing. Yeah, salmon, salt, sodium nitrate and natural hardwood smoke. So it's basically the sodium nitrate. So good. But so no, not processed. I need to get back like have a base again and then later i can reintroduce foods again like this and uh, if they decide okay once in a while but no so today and tomorrow i'm gonna finish this and also i still have uh, actually here something to drink so yeah I, I actually already started cutting out most of the stuff. I don't have much here anymore that I would have to finish or something. But Paul found these Shaka Tea Hawaii. 
They're like four flavors. That one is the lemon Lokelani rose. Sorry, I can't say. And actually, it's a really good thing. And I would even, hey, if you're, um, if you're caught, I would even say certain carnivores, if you don't want to be like totally strict, hey, I, I totally recommend that. I think he found it at the Safeway. But uh, so, first of all, calories zero. So, zero fat, zero sodium, zero carbs, zero protein. So, it's like the sparkling waters flavored. So, it's brewed mamaki. Mamaki, it's like a tea, but it doesn't have caffeine. It's because I, I, I can't have like regular tea, like actually real tea, black tea, or uh, white tea, green tea. I can't have that. I can only have like herbal tea. So, I think that's like herbal tea. So, it's like I've never heard it before, but um, it grows on Hawaii, Hawaii, or however you pronounce it. So brewed mamaki and hibiscus infusion. So filtered water, hibiscus, Hawaii grown mamaki, then monk fruit juice concentrate, natural rose and lemon flavors. Monk fruit is like, I would say the best sweetener out there well, yes, stevia is probably also very healthy and good, but it's so fucking gross. But I'm not a fan of sweeteners. And that's exactly um, sugar addiction. So sugar addiction. Oh, yeah, I cut out all the sugar. But then you take tons of a lot of sweeteners are even please don't ever drink anything with um, aspartame. Um, it's so cancer causing. It's so bad. But there are some like stevia, monk fruit extract, erythritol. They're not too bad, but um, they still taste sweet. So your brain is still, oh, something sweet. And also your body, it's like, oh, something sweet is coming. No, if you, well, you know, I'm not saying everyone is different. Hey, look, again, moderator, abstainers, if you can have a good lifestyle with some of some sweeteners but please don't overdo it but they, they there are some they still I, I don't uh look up the carb addiction dog and uh Ken Berry I think they talked about it that even though sweeteners are not good for your health but um yeah um but hey it's still better than real sugar or aspartame or whatever so if you can live a healthy lifestyle and have some sweeteners in it and that that uh helps you to maintain to stay like this to not go off your lifestyle hey then yeah please but a lot of people um that's a problem with keto Many people, keto works great for a lot of people at the beginning and suddenly it just doesn't work anymore. Same with me. Because I just, you know, as long as I'm in my numbers or you still, and yeah, there's still a lot of uh, vegetables that cause me harm. And then I still was craving more stuff or like those keto treats. Those are so bad. Because um, if they're full of fiber, they make you constipated. Yes, fiber makes you constipated. I was constipated, chronically constipated for years. The only way I could get rid of my constipation was getting rid of all the fiber. Fiber, yes, believe it or not. So anyways, um, they still make at least me um, addicted. And I know that from a lot of people, keto, is is not sustainable or they fall off for a lot of people no, hey if keto works great for you by all means yeah stay with stick with it but if you have problems yeah maybe you should try carnivore or like really um and what i just told you that story before when i was at my aunt's house before my surgery i was free it was so liberating or the time I took care of Norman at Lisa's house and I didn't 
just snacked a little bit of anything. Not, not one almond, you know, not just one little lick or whatever. No one would have seen it or no. No, I didn't do anything. I was free. So being so restrictive and strict actually is so freeing for me and i feel so much better and also my head is clear i'm not constant i can actually enjoy things and not constantly food 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 well i still had that also on carnivore like because i'm very inventive and i'm a very good cook chef cook and ba baker and i i can do so just meat salt and water or even just ribeye salt and water i can make so much good stuff and then with eggs oh my gosh it's so versatile but still so much better like so so much better also my ibs and my focus and everything was so but well yeah i it didn't help my tumor yes but uh before I was carnivore, everything was so much worse. And now that my... Sorry about that. My alarm went off um, to go measure out my pee. Yeah, that's then probably in my next video about that. But so what I was saying, now that my tumor is out, I'm actually on a mission. Well, I'm still in the recovery phase, but then I want to be the best version of myself I can be. I want to become superhuman. And um, with my training, with um, my supplements, with my food, um, I don't know, I, I forgot <laughs> the point about this, where I, why I said that. So, yeah, no sweeteners for me anyways. Uh, yeah, anyway, so I get a chance now because now the tumor is out. I should be able, once I'm recovered, to put on muscle. I, I lost so much muscle. I, anyways, that's something else. I'm sorry. But uh, actually, I remember, you see, I drank the rest. Um, the monk fruit juice concentrate, I, I told you about mostly it says actually monk fruit extract but here it's monk fruit juice concentrate so it's probably even better than uh, anyways it's not very sweet really actually it's not sweet enough to cover my bad taste but so this is something i would totally recommend people uh that want something with with uh some taste and it, it's delicious they have four flavors Anyways, um, so this gave me the chance. Oh yeah, here, that's the tea, by the way. And really, you see, caffeine-free, of course. Uh, ingredients, organic peppermint. So, well, I could actually also just use this. So I leave that in. Um, I just found these and uh, maybe I put some in my supplements drink today and tomorrow, but that one is better. But um, these are electrolytes. I'm, hey, I take electrolytes too. Make your own sodium, potassium, magnesium, or other things. Usually it's sodium, potassium, magnesium. Easy to make yourself. Um, most of my uh, supplements, by the way, I'll get from bulk supplements, um, pure. I um not not the, not the brand pure pure supplements. I get them in a bag and it's like B2. It's B2. Magnesium. Magne other ingredients none. That's how I like it. Some of them you can't like a vitamin D3 you can't get um pure because you need to have some fat but mine is olive oil it's not safflower oil or some uh, seed oil um or i even this here is b2 and i put it in my own capsule 
bovine capsule. So there are no fillers in that. I put it in myself, the same with the NAC and acetyl L-cysteine. Uh, anyways, I'm all over the place. That's also the sugar. Uh, now I'm also just like that, but it's also the sugar. So Paul actually, uh, right after surgery, he wanted me to get electrolytes, um, not self med I don't know, other story. Anyways, he got me those. I don't want to take those because you will see, but um, ingredients, organic coconut water powder, organic lemon flavor, non-GMO citric acid, lemon juice powder, pink Himalayan salt, sodium citrate, organic stevia extract, that's why it tastes a bit gross, monk fruit extract. So <clears throat> I would totally recommend that if, if someone wants electrolytes, doesn't want to make their own, well, e element from uh, Rob, fuck, I forgot his name, uh, element, I think it is, those are better. Those are really just the electrolytes, but then also you can just make it yourself. But um, anyway, and he also has flavored ones. Anyway, but Stevia again, I think. I fucking hate Stevia. Why everyone is Stevia? Anyways, so, but this, if someone takes this, I would tell them, hey, it's fine. It's, it's really not bad at all, but it has monk fruit extract in. So it means, and it tastes more sweet than that. So it could give your brain ooh, the addiction again this is just a different flavor and the only um difference here is uh where is it organic beetroot juice powder um beetroot also is known for giving you energy anyways uh, or yeah so uh if you're wondering i was talking about um my mushroom supplements so this here is the turkey tail and uh, you see here like uh, uh, the ingredients it's turkey tail it's just that Ugh. here is the lion's mane and i i we have another lion's mane from uh, bulk supplements by the way here also it's just lion's mane in it, nothing else. Then the chaga, or here chaga, that's like more grainy. It's like more for tea, but I also, I also like that uh, to put in, in my food. Uh, so I'm not gonna go into details here what, what those are good for and whatever, but uh, actually chaga, very very good for the C and the V shedding yes same uh, vitamin D and um, vitamin C please take those to be safe um, anyways actually you know I always try to make those videos not to I should make like sections like just talk about this little but then once I start talking I'm like blah 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 well, anyways <laughs> but you know i make those videos much more for me than for you because like right now um i just got home and i just had ate so much bad stuff and now i'm i'm still talking to you and that's how also i calm down and i get excited i'm like yes i'm gonna do that i'm 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 telling you that now, I'm gonna do that. It's not even a challenge as a, like when I did those levels, they, they were like challenges, they were like levels, they were like, but now it's it's just I go back on my lifestyle and um, maybe I, come up, I can come up something with something fun, like, okay, for August I do this and then for September, so it I have more fun with it. Um, maybe, I, I will see, but um, this is, it's still therapy for me. This is really helping. And I'm still um, very much alone. I uh, go outside now to walk with Norman, but uh, I still don't go to the gym. I still don't go to my classes. Um, I just ask people if they want to go walk with me with Norman. I hope sooner or later someone will come with me. That would be nice also to catch up with some people. But 
I'm very, very like, uh, not with people, like, anyways. Um, yeah, so the last thing I was actually, yeah. So these, maybe I take some in my supplements drink, as I said, today and tomorrow, but then after tomorrow, uh-uh, I'll give them to Paul or put them away. Maybe for another time, because they're not like crazy bad. But, but so, what the fuck? A dog that just got mis, um, handled, misused, I don't know. So anyways, um, yeah, I'm showing you the things right now that I'm, I'm, I'm going to finish, right? With the locks, I've already put it in a fridge. So I have one, I'm staring at it here. I have one more last thing to show you and I'm actually very ashamed and I kept it hidden and I actually didn't want to talk about it and actually wanted to finish it before, um, yeah, so I don't have to mention it so be, be, before um, August 1st and I don't know, but hey, I'm very open, I'm very honest. So I'm gonna show you, and I'm also gonna explain you why I'm very ashamed to show you this. Da, 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 da. <sighs> almond milk. I'm a carnivore and I got almond milk. First of all, I was hoping this could mask its unsweetened arm. Um, first of all, it's the best quality almond milk I could find. Um, unsweetened, yeah, the vanilla, who cares? Vanilla um, almond milk and the in, usually the ingredients in almond milk. So much bullshit in it. Here, uh, really, almond milk, so filtered water and almonds because you know you actually can't milk almonds and it's not milk it's actually almond water so filtered water almonds natural flavors whatever that is then the vanilla extract sea salt look up almond milk like uh, the silks or something you have like so many preservatives and bullshit in it so it's actually really good quality and it has one gram of carbs in eight fluid ounces it has 45 calories i don't really care about calories right now i did measurements yesterday and i lost i'm i'm even lighter than before surgery anyways other topic um so i was hoping it would cover the anesthesia taste so i don't have to drink those sugary drinks anymore and with sugary drinks i mean um drinks that have like per bottle five grams of sugar so not 38 or 20 no but this is still too much and they have they also had like quite a lot of erythritol so they tasted quite sweet but unfortunately it didn't help because it's not sweet enough of course so I put in the erythritol monk fruit um, sweetener that I have in it and then it kind of helps. But then again, it's what's the point? Then it tastes sweet again, but at least it's not sugar. But anyways, so the point why I'm showing you this, um, I'm going to finish this today and tomorrow. Uh, if I don't finish it, I will pour it out. Why am I ashamed to show you this? um because well if you're in the carnivore community and stuff you and as soon as i said almond milk you know exactly what i mean um there's this uh talk about almond milk almond milk it's actually so bad for as uh, so first of all again how do you get almond milk you milk almonds yeah that doesn't work but so again, that one is not highly processed, really not. But usually they really processed, it's a processed food and it's, it's just not good. And then second, almonds actually, 
I think I say actually a lot. Actually and so. Mm -hmm. I remember. Anyways, almonds use so much water. And there are a lot of almonds in California, and California doesn't have a lot of water anyways. Um, and uh, second, they uh, enslave bees to po pollinate the almonds. So they basically enslave bees. So it's like sla um, sla animal slavery. So yeah, vegans. Your fucking almond milk is, is not humane at all and it's bad for the environment. So um, here I have to mention, I'm an honest person, I do care about the environment. Yes, I do. But I also, in a reason, like, like for example, I don't like just let water run for, so, for no reason. That's waste. I hate wasting anyways. And also I hate the sound. Even Paul let the water, lets the water run sometimes to get it hot. And ugh. anyways, but like, for example, um, there are people, they have these, um, how do you call it? Water saving shower heads. Do you see my hair? with a water saving shower head that has no fucking pressure and barely any water comes out. You know how long it will take me to, to wash my hair? I will use so much more water. And if I wanna take a bath, I take a bath. I don't care how much water I, I waste or whatever. So it's like, and yesterday, yeah, I talked to Paul about it. It's it's funny. The day before yesterday, I just talked uh, with him about it. Uh, basically, I just talked how bad almond milk is and stuff and blah, blah, blah. And then the day after, it's like, get me almond milk. <laughs> no, so yeah, yesterday I was like, you know what? I just need something to mask my fucking taste. And if almond milk does the, does, does the the trick so I don't have to take sugar anymore and I can get off my sugar addiction I don't fucking care I'm sorry I need to take care of me first and you need to take care of yourself first anyways always before you can't take care of anyone else if you can't take care of you if you don't take care of yourself first and again I do care about the environment and stuff but also I like cars I like diesel cars I like fast strong cars, V8s, I like um, uh, gas, I, I like uh, making donuts, not that I can do that, but I would like to learn or drifting or whatever. You know what? I don't fucking care if it, and it's also that environment stuff, you know, it's also kind of bullshit, like with, um, we, it's, it's not destroying the environment as much as everyone always says. But um, yeah, that is a fact that almonds need so much more water than cows, for example. And there are places, for example, California, where water is, not, uh, that they have sometimes water problems, yes. And it is a fact, so, and I'm, I love animals so much and every kind of animal, not just the fluffy cute ones, also spiders and mosquitoes and well, I don't really like them, but yeah, they, they, they have their purpose too, they're animals too. I don't hurt anyone if I don't have a really good reason. And well, if a cow has to give her life for that, I can be healthy. That's a very good reason. But I don't think bees should be enslaved so we get fucking almond milk or um, poor little animals um, get drawn under the, under the tractor and stuff and get, but so anyways, you see, I could go into so many subjects. I really need to make some short videos about just one thing. But anyways, um, that's why I really didn't want to show you the almond milk. I was staring at it in the in the fridge because I was I was like scouting. Okay, uh, what do you have to finish until August? So I was like, 
Okay, I'm, I'm an honest person. So here it is. But hey, at least I got the best quality I could find. Yeah, the best quality would be that I would have made it myself. I think I actually did that once um, back in the days. But so anyways, um, here, honey ore with, an, with almond milk. If you want to put some stupid... If you want to use this to oh look a carnivore that drinks almond milk so i'm also just human i'm um real with you guys i'm honest and so this video is long again long enough i never know how to finish those videos so i'm starting blabbling and and i i probably a lot of times I don't want to finish it because then what do I do afterwards? Then I'm so alone again. <laughs> yeah, no, this this will all change. But um, also, yeah, very important something. I uh, now it's getting better again because, yeah, I I have an idea. I'm determined with getting back on the carnivore lifestyle. As I said, that's not some, something um, I'm gonna, uh, oh, for the rest of my life, I'm gonna stay with that. But I just told you, no, no, I just need something very strict so I'll be safe again. So Paul can bring home foods and drinks and I won't touch him. And I won't even think about it and, and it won't bother me. So I can go to my aunt's house or to Lisa's and not, not even look at what they have, not even think about it. And then when I'm stable, then I can reintroduce uh, um, other non-carnivore foods even. And then I will see, I will figure it out. And also once I will train again, I, um, I want to start to do heart training to build up back my muscles and all that maybe even a little bit carbs will be beneficial for me like right before the training or so we will see we will see but actually what i wanted to mention is when i started eating or like kind of more towards the end of course or afterwards all that sugary carb stuff yeah, by the way, with sugar, I mean carbs, not just white refined sugar. I mean, every kind of sugar, starches are sugar. So um, glucose, sugar, fruits, sugar, pasta, sugar, bread, sugar, cereal, sugar, carbs. Everything that's not protein or fat and electrolytes and them. <laughs> uh, what did I want to say? Yeah. So towards the end more and afterwards, of course, I was totally depressed again. So also sugar depresses me, makes me depressed. And I'm sure that's also a fact for a lot of people. So I'm glad I could get out of that depression. So because I'm, I'm super excited now. And I probably even, I don't have a lot of followers and I actually I lost a lot of followers when I started posting all about my pituitary um, tumor adventure. <laughs> um, but I do all that stuff for me. It's nice when you have others following you and when they appreciate it, but yeah, whatever. But maybe I will even put something on Instagram, say, hey, who wants to join me? in august like yeah i don't know yet but there are so many already that do that okay i'm done otherwise i never finish this video <laughs> so probably tomorrow or or the day after tomorrow my next video will will probably be about me measuring out my pee again have a good one be motivated never give up Stay clean.